Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Rose from Easy to Cook at Home and this is part two of wine making, a super super simple wine making. And today I'm going to be clearing, stabilising and bottling the wine. The wine has already stopped fermenting so we're good to go. If you haven't already seen the first video then I encourage you to just check the link above. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see the bubbling has stopped in the airlock there. So basically the fermentation has stopped, there's no more bubbling down here. And I've just gotten two jars, I've got the one at the top and then I've got the other demi jar at the bottom. So I'm going to siphon um, from the top to the bottom and then we're going to stabilise it for clearing. I do hope you can see this, but I've got the long siphoning tube here and then we've got the long straight siphoning part. Just push that in there. And then this bit goes on to here. This is the bit that's going to go in your first bottle with the juices or the wine. And then this bit is the bit that's going to go into the second bottle. So it's basically like that. That will go in the first one and then we will siphon down like that. Okay, so we take the bung out of the wine. Then we take this part and we put that into the bottle like so and then basically we have to suck on this tube this part of the tube to allow the liquid to come down into this bottle here for the natural siphoning process you just need to make sure that the this bit doesn't hit right to the bottom of the sediment so you just hold it so far about an inch from the bottom and then suck on this tube straight into that demijohn Again, you need to tip it, tip the demijohn, just so you can get as much of the wine out as you can without actually getting any of the sediment in. Okay, so then we've got this here, and now we need to stabilise it. Okay, so we just need to fill it up with some boiled cooled water and then we'll add the stabiliser to stop the fermentation process. You need to fill it up with water because um, you don't want any air getting in. Okay, so just add a teaspoon of the stabiliser and then with a clean hand Take the top in your hand and then give it a good old shake around. This will allow any of the gases from the yeast to come up. Just give it a shake a few times. Let that dissipate activate to kill off all the yeast and then you put the bung back in the airlock a sterilized one I can't use this one now because it's gone to the table just put a sterilized one back into the demijohn and then we just wait for that to clear so it's a nice colored clear white wine hi guys welcome back um, it's been a month um, and hopefully you can see my hand behind there, it's nice and clear. Um, this, on the bottom there is the uh, dead yeast or the sediment from the wine. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to rack it or siphon off into this bottle here. Now I've got a Camden tablet which I'm going to crush between these two spoons. And I'm going to put that into the bottle and what the Camden tablet does it makes sure that no bacteria are allowed to grow. I'm just going to pop that in there like that and now I'm going to siphon 
this into this bottle here. Mmm, tastes nice. That tastes good. Okay, so I've left the wine now for three days, so uh, there'll be no buglies in there. So now it's time to bottle. So we're just going to siphon it into the bottles below. Siphon that in there. Now it can hit the bottom now because um, there's no sediment or anything. Now these bottles have all been sterilised. Normally leave around about an inch at the top. The nice thing about this wine is that once you've bottled it, you can actually start drinking it after three months. Um, I wouldn't really recommend that because it does need a little bit longer to age, um, but I know that some people do drink it after three months. I normally leave it for around about six months to a year, um, and obviously after a year it does get better um, because it's got a longer time to age. I do hope you enjoyed that video. Please leave your comments below, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, I'd love to hear from you. Hope to see you soon, one of my other videos, I've got lots of cooking videos, so cheers! Mm, that's good, bye bye for now! And today I'm going to be clearing, stabilising and bottling the wine. If you haven't already seen part one, I'll leave it up stairs in the link. Cheers!